Nothing gets a jihadi's blood boiling like a good old Muhammad cartoon. China is literally cramming Muslims into railroad cars and sending them to concentration camps. The reaction to China's anti-Muslim genocide from the rest of the Muslim world ranges from mildly concerned to couldn't conceivably care less. But a satirical newspaper in France posted some Muhammad cartoons. The Muslim reaction? International outrage, protests, riots, stabbings, and of course, beheadings. Talk about a perfectly functioning moral compass. This is what happens when your ultimate role model is an illiterate 7th century Arabian caravan robber who had sex with a prepubescent girl, tortured a man for money, and ordered his followers to slaughter people for making fun of him. But I'd like to tell our Muslim friends that they should actually be happy about Muhammad cartoons. They should be overjoyed when they see Muhammad cartoons. They should thank Charlie Hebdo for publishing and republishing Muhammad cartoons. Why do I say this? Well, think about it. Muhammad called for the violent subjugation of the entire world. Muhammad said, the earth was brought together for me so that I could see the east and the west. And I was given two treasures, the yellow or the red and the white, meaning gold and silver. And it was said to me, your dominion will extend as far as has been shown to you. So Islam, according to Muhammad, will control the East and the West. Muhammad said, I've been commanded to fight against people till they testify that there is no God but Allah, that Muhammad is the messenger of Allah, and they establish prayer and pay zakat. And if they do it, their blood and property are guaranteed protection on my behalf, except when justified by law, and their affairs rest with Allah. Not surprisingly, Muhammad's followers have been trying to conquer the world for 14 centuries. In the early centuries of Islam, Muslims fought their way west, out of Arabia, across northern Africa, and into Europe. And they simultaneously fought their way east, all the way to India. Islam only stopped advancing militarily when it ran into more powerful groups who made it stop advancing. Then the tactics changed. In our time, we're not so much concerned with Muslim armies conquering us. We're concerned with Islamic grooming gangs, drugging, raping, and pimping young girls. We're concerned with forced marriages. We're concerned with the endless terrorist attacks. We're concerned with the relentless attempts to replace Western values with Islamic values. We're concerned with Islam's utter contempt for the lives of non-Muslims, a contempt that originates in the Quran. In Surah 98, verse 6 of the Quran, Allah declares, Verily, those who disbelieve in the religion of Islam, the Quran, and Prophet Muhammad, from among the people of the Scripture, Jews and Christians, and al-Mushrikun, those are idolaters, will abide in the fire of hell, they are the worst of creatures. Jews, Christians, and other non-Muslims are the worst of creatures. We're lower than dogs, we're lower than pigs. That's why jihadis will not hesitate to slaughter us in churches, in synagogues, at concerts, at celebrations, while working, while shopping. We are utter garbage in the eyes of Allah. And there are a lot of jihadis who want to remind us of that. What does this have to do with Muhammad cartoons? Well, Muslims, after 14 centuries of jihad, after terrorist attacks around the world carried out in the name of your God, after countless thousands of young girls were defiled in every possible way, some Westerners responded to the atrocities with some cartoons. They didn't respond by going out into the streets and slaughtering Muslims. They didn't respond by putting Muslims into concentration camps. They didn't respond with riots or rape or torture or any kind of violence. They responded with cartoons. Do you have any idea how happy you should be that France is as tolerant as it is? Do you have any idea how happy you should be that the UK is as tolerant as it is? Do you have any idea how happy and thankful you should be that the United States is as tolerant as it is? After 14 centuries of bloodshed, rape, oppression, cruelty, forced conversions, executions, and terrorist attacks, the response to the religion that called for all of this and that calls 
for our violent subjugation is cartoons? Some Frenchmen responded to violence with nonviolent cartoons. And now you're responding to their nonviolence with more violence. Grow up and realize how good you have it. Show some gratitude to the people who invited you into their countries because your countries were falling apart, primarily due to the fact that the legal systems of your previous countries were based on the commands of an illiterate 7th century Arabian caravan robber. If the worst thing Westerners are doing to you is making cartoons of the most obvious false prophet in history, you should be rejoicing, not murdering people. There are places in the world that are far, far less tolerant of Islam. But for some reason, you don't seem to care about those places.